fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with episode 181. Today is February the 21st, 2022. On today's show, I have whips and haul. So sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice, or water for me, your craft of choice, and let's chat. So, how was everybody's week? Mine was relatively quiet. Um, I did the same normal things I always do every week. I hung out with my mom for a while. I did some errands. Um, I freaked, I freaked out a banker, a bank teller. That was fun. Not like terrible. It was just kind of funny that she has been the one that I've been dealing with some stuff with. And when she saw the balance that I was trying to withdraw, she kind of went, oh, what happened to the rest of it? <laughs> so I kind of uh, freaked her out there for a second. And so I explained to her what happened to the rest of it. And she went, oh, okay, yeah, I see that. So it was funny. It was really funny. She's a really nice teller. And uh, I'm going to definitely be talking to her whenever I need anything at my bank. Um, the littles came over on Sunday. And the littlest man took a very long nap, and the little man was playing, and I have, I have a tablet here for him and his brother to share because they like to use tablets sometimes, and sometimes Grandma doesn't like to watch their YouTube, <laughs> so that tablet has their YouTube on there, so they can watch YouTube if they want to. And it has some other learning games, so it was nice to just let him quietly use the tablet while his brother was sleeping. So that worked out really well. The toy room is a disaster. I really need to get in there and clean up that toy room. But <laughs> we have 400 balls, 400 of those plastic balls that you use in the ball pits. <laughs> and picking those up is really a pain in the tuchus. So <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking very clearly when I bought this. But I mean, they have so much fun with it. And it was such a good idea and they love it and they love coming to grandma's to play with it so you know a little bit inconvenient for grandma but that's okay right right um other than that not too much else is going on we're just trying to figure out the next step that we want to take with the remodel and uh so we're just weighing some pros and cons looking at some houses so who knows we should know at the end of tomorrow we're looking at house so we should know in the next couple of days what we're going to do but it's most likely going to be remodeling this place so you know which is good because we're both comfortable here we both like it here we just know it needs a lot of work and it it's going to take a lot of money <laughs> ouch but you know that's the way of the world but anyway Shall we get on with the stitching? I think so. So, my Mirror Monday is Moon Fairy. She's being stitched on Vintage Stormy Night Lugana by Zweigart. And where's the picture? Oh, it was hiding inside the frame. That's funny. So, this is what Moon Fairy looks like. I got this as a gift from joe and thank you very much again joe i really appreciate it and i think of you every time i stitch on it so here she is um i worked on the i keep thinking it's a sash but it's not it's like her wrap it's, oh and her wrap is just being blown away because of her fairy wings i have no idea but i worked on that some more so i'd like to finish up at least this strand and a couple of finishing up this color in here and then I'll move over here and start working on that section. But that's where she's at. And so I'm getting really good progress on her for Mirror Mondays, so that's good. And then I worked on ha Quaker Gone Haunted by Michelle Inc. I am using Let's see, 36 count Bramble Edinburgh Linen by Picture This Plus. And I didn't get a whole lot done on this. I did finish one side of the Tombstone Angel. 
so that's all filled in so I just need to fill this in and then there's some sections down at the bottom and then of course a, uh, taking it from this side to this side needs to be done but yeah that's okay as you see there hasn't been a lot of stitching done last week I was mostly like running errands like I said and doing other things that I had to do oops so then I went ahead and decided to work on the Baker's Wife, which is my January mirror monthly, but since I didn't do it in January, I have to do it now. And it is being stitched on 32 count Wren by Picture This Plus. Oops. And I was working on the ch chest area. And I moved down and started working on her arms as well in that one color. So I'm sh doing the shading on her arms and her chest. So it wasn't a lot accomplished, but there was some. And that's okay. Every stitch is one stitch less, right? Right. Hold on for a second. I dropped my little piece of my key. Okay, and then on Friday I pulled out um, Kringles by uh, Little House Needleworks. I am using 30 count Parisian, per, Parisian Pearl Gray, I think, by um, Access Commodities. Let me see if that's the right one. Parisian Gray. Legacy Linen, sorry. So it's 30 count Parisian Gray Legacy Linen by Access Commodities. And I was able to put in the a mortar for the brick, so that's all done. So I could get the window in, and the next time I work on that, I'm going to work on the window. So I'm really happy with that. And I'm glad I, glad I went with this gray, because I think that this uh, eggshell shows up better than if it had been just a white. So I worked on that and then I did the tops of the windows there. And that red color is what the brick is done in. So with the brick I'm thinking I'm gonna jump around a lot so that it's not just like striped of color so that it just jumps in there. and. Hopefully it'll be a little bit of variegated, so it'll look differently on the bricks. Give it some dimension and texture, right? Right. Okay, and then on Saturday and Sunday, I, and the week, I worked on Fright Night. Art by Lewis Johnson, charted by Gecko Rouge, on 25 Count Easy Guide. <sighs> I can't wait until this is done, so I can quit saying that <laughs> I bet you guys are too I am slowly plugging along but if I don't pick up the pace this is not going to get done by the end of the year because I am still only 56% complete and that's two months and that's not good so um, I went ahead and changed the frame I'm not using my um, homemade PVC pipe frame. I'm using the frame I got from Garon Stitchery, which is from r and &R, it's down here, r, &R Craft Frames to see if I liked that. And this is 11 by 8. So it's 11 by 8. And it is a lighter frame, a lighter weight. Uh, the, magnet, or the magnifier that I use does do tip it forward. So I have to use a pillow first to raise it up high enough to where it, I can get my arms underneath it and I can work on it, but also to keep it from tipping forward. So I do have to adjust how I stitch on this a lot, but I do like this R&R &R frame because it is so much lighter. And I can see if you're sitting at a table and doing this, that that would be really a good plus. But I sit in a chair and it's on my lap. so. Um, yeah, I really think that this, if you're looking for a lap, not a lap frame, but a frame that you want to take 
with you to stitch this would would work really well really well and I'm really happy with it and the clamps hold it well and it just is a really great great um, frame to have so give that a sh shot if you're looking for a different type of frame or stand okay so that was all that I stitched on last week I did get some haul I really really fell in love with the uh, cottage garden samplings year in the woods so I'm gonna pick these up every three months so I got the fox the swan and the jackrabbit I really think that these are so cute um, I did order a piece of fabric to put all 12 of them on and that's coming from Garon. I did try to get one from 123 Stitch because this was my 123 Stitch order. And I didn't like any of the fabrics that they had. So I am doing mine on a 36 count. They call for a 40 count, but I decided 40 count is pretty small for me. And 36 count I can handle. So I'm gonna just stick with the 36 count. Um, I also picked up some more thread drops. So I have 90 thread drops. So every three months I'm going to pick up 90 more thread drops um, so I can get all of my thread off the bobbins and onto thread drops because that's the way I want to go. I want to get some pegboard in this room and put it on the pegboard in the closet. So that's my goal for that. I also did receive my Grime Guard. So this is the Grime Guard that I've been waiting for. Um, it did go to Chicago and then it came here. <laughs> so I believe this is the February, even though I ordered it in January. So I don't know. I don't know how that works, but here it is. This is 11 by 11 Grime Guard. I am going to get one more Grime Guard of the month club and then I'm canceling. So February, when I pay for February's, I will cancel it at the same time. Be because, yeah, no, I'll be paying for March. That was my February. I know. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing one. I don't think so. I'll have to look back to see if I'm missing one. Because I might be missing one. Hmm. I'll have to look. But anyway, <laughs> I will be canceling it. Um, do I have anything else in stitchy-wise? No, I don't. So, plans... Um, I am going to be working some more on Baker's Wife this week. Um, and, of course, Kringles and Fright Night. And the, uh, what's that called? Um, Moon, Moon Fairy. Um, my two other ones is I should grab Mother's Arms. I've only worked on her once, so I need to work on her one more time this month. Or she, yeah, this month. And then she will be a Mira monthly. So I will have to do that. But um, roses, I don't have to work on anymore because I've worked on her three times. Um, Baker's wife, I, yeah, I do need to at least put one more day into Baker's wife. And Kringles is done. So actually, I could highlight that I am finished my four days on Kringles even though I'm going to be doing Kringles all year long. Um, yeah. So, other than that, I think that's all I've got for you this week. I don't see anything else. So, I hope that you guys are having a safe and healthy week and that everything is going great for you and that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content and I will see you next week.